Hi and welcome. I'm Melissa Hara of the Plus Size Tarot Chick. If you are brand new, hi and welcome. Please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you do not miss topics around royalty and also gossip in addition to life purpose. If you are a personal development nerd like me, please consider subscribing. It will greatly be appreciated and also stop comment below and say hi so if you are a recent subscriber hi and welcome to this amazing community so let's get to it all right according to the sun times twisted sister megan markle's bitter sister samantha claims duchess fate baby archie's christening and brands her as a disgrace to the family. Wow. This was written August 3rd, 2019. So, according to this, Meghan Markle's fuming sister has slammed the Duchess for faking baby Archie's christening as she branded her a disgrace to the family. Samantha Markle launched into another torrent of toxic abuse just as Meghan prepares to celebrate her first birthday as a mom this weekend with prince harry the 54 year old blasted megan 30 blasted megan 37 supposedly as callous shameful and and a disgrace to the markle family name daily star online reports she also said she hopes the royal baby treats her like she treated dad referring to megan's father thomas who she is rumored to have cut contact with Wow, so we're going to ask the question about what is going on around this event and also what's going on with Samantha Markle's book. What are what is her feelings around this? And I'm going to use a deck that is brand new and it's called the Dreaming Way Tarot and I wanted to break these in. And this kind of has an Alice in Wonderland theme. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting out, we have the Queen of Cups, which is the present situation, a general overview, and also the Fool that is crossing it. When I mean it, it is, when I mean it, it's the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups has to do with a water element, so somebody who is a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer, and have a child next to it, so basically, this is somebody who is creative and has a creative side to her and thinks with her heart and not her mind. So this is somebody who is a creative person who is an acting. So this could represent Samantha Markle I'm getting intuitively because it's very hard um, finding her birthday. Thank you, Daily Empress. I have to give a big thank you to her, and I will post the description of the video below, post the link to the video below, but I have to give her a major shout out um, because she did some research on Samantha Markle's birthday. So, according online, it says November 1964, so when it comes to November, this is a Scorpio sign, so this is a water element. So this is what I'm picking up and I'm going with. So somebody who is passionate. So when we have the fool crossing it, it's somebody who is birthing a new adventure and a new opportunity. But also with the fool, it has to do with a card of trickery. And trickery and deceit is crossing the Queen of Cups, which intuitively I'm getting as Samantha Markle. So there's a lot of behind the scenes um, going on that the public is not aware of and keeping things secret. After the Queen of Cups and the Fool, we have the Page of Swords. And with the third card on the bottom, it signifies what is underneath the foundation. 
and when it comes to this card it has to do with a element of air and it has to do with a feminine energy she has to get prepared she's ready for the fight this is somebody um who is not taken seriously and also there is going to be a fight and this has to do with criticism so somebody who is in the public and behind the scenes there is legal affairs and it has to do with a contract so something that is behind the scenes that is of legality and that has to do with keeping things hidden and secret next we have the fourth card which is behind this is the influences that are passing away and this has to do with the recent past that has to do with the present situation so next we have the knight of swords in the past um in the past and this has to do with a lot of drama going up and down like a roller coaster so basically when it comes to this this has to be anxiety and stress and I didn't hold it up clearly so I'll go ahead and post a picture um after I explain this and this has to do with somebody who is higher up who is a lawyer who is somebody who is of a higher position Knight of Swords represent making your point, fighting back with what you believe in. This is somebody who has had strong and has had enough. So I'm getting intuitively that Samantha Markle is tired of the on the surface scenes with the media and lying about who she really is within as a person. So this is somebody um, who is very strong and it's time to stop talking and just do it because this card is implementing that in the past that it had nothing to do she held back because of wanting to have a relationship with her sister and basically now because of Meghan Markle ghosting Samantha Markle this means that she is ready to fight back you know with Samantha Markle she has multiple sclerosis and she it's hard physically with a medical condition and it drains emotionally and I'm sure she has had a lot of backlash in the media and like this is a card she's ready to fight back so this is a card where she had enough is enough this is you know her holding back until closer to um the birthday of Meghan Markle supposedly so this is a ch take charge card like aha I'm ready for you let's rumble I do apologize I did not hold the queen of swords up so I'm going to go ahead and post a picture here and describe it so we have a woman here who is over the age of 30 somebody it could represent a person or also a influence this is an older woman who has been divorced and child child is less <laughs> so when it comes to this this is a independent career woman with her own ideas and values and this follows under the zodiac signs aquarius libra or gemini um this might be somebody who is handling um the legality of the situation at hand so there are three queens that are in this reading so this has to do with a um this has to do with a pairing so working out something so when we have the queen of so we have the page which is underneath which was in the third position that has to do with something of legality and behind the scenes so let's go ahead and head to the queen of wands in the sixth position 
I apologize. I didn't include, I didn't hold it up to the camera. So I wanted to take a picture so you can see it for yourself. So we have the Queen of Wands here. This represents um, spiritual issues, ideas, and growth. And this has to do with the element of fire. When it comes to the Queen of Wands, um, Meghan Markle is a fire element. So I should um, make a um charts on the royals um with the fight with the elements and the sun signs and all so and anyways let's get back to this this card fits perfectly for Meghan markle so when it comes to the queen of wands this has to do with a person that is has a flair for drama and a passion for drama um she is a master manifester um she does fight for what she believes in she is very stubborn the Queen of Wands always has a creative um, flow and creative ideas and wants to put them out there, but also has a fear and suppresses with her own original work. And this has to do with plagiarism, and this is what I'm getting intuitively. So this is an older woman in her 30s. This has to do with anxiety and also being spiritual and in this lifetime this has to do with working on within and being spiritual versus the material things when it comes to the six card this is before the situation this is forces that are already in motion that are going to manifest in the future so this is the near future which is four weeks to three months next we have the seventh card which is the feelings fear and apparition around the situation at hand and we have the tower so card seven is the fears and apparition so when it comes to this card it's a wake-up call to the situation is it has to do with an unexpected moment and not being prepared so this has to do with the situation at hand this is a transition but this is going to be an awakening not only for Meghan Markle but also Samantha Markle as well she is ready for a fight Samantha Markle is the Meghan Markle she is going this book that is coming out is going to turn Meghan Markle's world upside down so so far in the cards it looks like that she is planning to release the book and we'll find out at the end when so there is nothing that can be done about this this is time after time again this has happened and the tower is always in the cards every time I redo a reading around Meghan Markle's situation so when it comes to health um it has to do with um bizarre symptoms occurring and this has to do with um a nervous disorder and also accidents around the home in the seventh card, I put the fears and apparition. Sometimes it depends on the Celtic cross on what varies in the position. So I put here, this is the influential fears and apparition. This is going to be a tower moment, a spiritual awakening. This is another major arcana. There's nothing that can be done to stop this. So we have the Markle's ready for a fight. She's not getting any younger. She's in her 50s. Um, let me know in the comments if that is true. Um, she is a water sign. She is a Scorpio. She is ready to fight. Um, because the Vogue was the last straw. And I'm getting intuitively that Thomas Markle is behind um, the PR um, story and the sun. Hey, what do you know? We have opinions here, which is the eighth position. And we have a man sitting here that is looks like Jolly Girl St. Nick with a beard. I think that's Thomas Markle just chilling out like, hey, 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 the universe is coming at you, bitch. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, how is this not a perfect card? Number 21, this is the world, which is another major arcana.
this card is also known as the universe as well and with this card this signifies completion and success so you reap what you sow and rewards are going to happen and there there is going to be a new face so this is like a slap in your face Meghan Markle <laughs> this is the last straw this is it you know after the vote and you're saying that we're a terrible family and you ghosted us well you know what i'm coming back with strong emotions and i'm going to be fighting back and i'm not giving up this is what this card is saying but watch that long-term project is going to come and it's going to arrive and it's going to have a tower moment and there's nothing you can do to stop me I'm back. <laughs> so she's coming back with strong vengeance. She is ready for a fight and she's not giving up. And you see here, Mr. Markle's just sitting here, just laying back and see what happens. She's like, so he's got Samantha's back. He's like going behind Samantha's like, I got your back, girl. I got your back. <laughs> You see what I mean? He's just sitting there waiting. So let's go on with the reading. We are going to put that down and then because of the tower moment, get ready for a fight. So we have in the ninth position, the seven of ones reversed. So when I mean by victim, she's always pulling out the race card, um, saying that everybody's racist that doesn't like her. And that's not true, so don't get me started on that. So let's get to the picture. Here is the page of one, seven of wands reversed. And this has to do with fighting back. This has to do with anxiety. Um, there is anxiety in this issue. And because it looks like the book will be released. And this card is the hope. So the aspirations, goals, dreams, desires, and fears. And this has to do with a lot of anxiety and psychological issues such as um, anxiety disorder and also um, who has OCD. And if you don't know, that stands for obsessive compulsive disorder. And also in addition to that, and with addition to that, this has to do with a fire element. So Meghan Markle is a fire element. And playing the victim, always doing the me, me, me thing. Here is the last card, which is the future outcome, which will be from 3 months to 12 months. So we have the Four of Pentacles reverse. With the Four of Pentacles reverse, it has to do with it has to do with limitations. It has to do with delays on financial loss. And this has to do with fear, greed, and defensiveness. And letting go of power. And also quit being stubborn. There is also setbacks. This is what this card is representing. This has to do with. This book will be released, but there is going to be setbacks um, when you look at the cards beforehand, which has to do with the full crossing, the, the full crossing, the Queen of Cups, which has to do with trickery and has to do with going behind the scenes. And we have the three queens here. When it's two queens, it does stand for fighting and conflict but there are three queens here which means that there is negotiating going on behind the scenes so overall the results are there are going to be setbacks because of issues um and legalities and behind the scenes contracts um with preventing and negotiating with preventing the release of this book and tarnishing Meghan Markle's image. And when it comes to pentacles, um, it has to do with autumn. So in the fall, it looks like that Samantha Markle is planning on releasing her book. 
so that is what came through. So what do you think, guys? Comment below and share your thoughts around this topic. Wowza. This is interesting. So I'm Melissa of the Plus Size Tarot Chip. Be well. Take care. And remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. Oh, yes. Before I forget, look at what is on the bottom. The chariot. She is in total control of this situation. She is going to be fighting back and nothing is going to stop her. She is not giving up. So bye, everybody. I wanted to share that. <laughs> bye.